kind of Trojan horse? And what's inside? Your jailbird daughter? If so, guard, if anybody so much as touches that thing, open fire. And come back to Coronet Cameron. Three, two. It's very exciting. We've been working on it for a while now, um, about four months. It's all about like getting rid of segregation and equality in America. And why did you want to be part of it? Well, we we started in music. We were thinking about some musicals we could we could possibly do because it's been a while since we've done one, like fifteen years or something. So um, we were looking through some of them, and Hairspray just looked really good. So we went for that. One. What sells it to you? It's very inspiring, like how Tracy goes out of her way and like helps everybody else that's in like that's like not like suffering, but like helps them raise them up. Yeah. And tell me about your role, um, because you I think you play one of the, the main roles, aren't you? The main parts. Uh, fairly fairly main, yeah. <laughs> uh, she Moti Mouth Mabel. She's a very strong black woman who like really is very passionate about getting rid of segregation and equality and all that. I play Link and he's the love interest of all the girls and you know he's, he's the one that everyone fights over and Amber and Tracy especially fight over him. Um, in the beginning Link's with Amber and he he's with her really not because he likes her just because his mum's uh, Amber's mum's in charge and he knows if he's with Amber he'll be able to get a good recording contract and he'll be able to you know get rich and famous which is what everyone wants and um and then he meets Tracy and he falls in love with Tracy and he's like oh maybe don't like Amber that much anymore and then he's with Tracy and he's having a great time with Tracy and Tracy's like Link do you want to help me you know help all these black people to get equality and Link's like, mm, nah, I want to keep my recording contract, like, I want to get the chance to get it and if I do this I'm not going to get a chance. But at the end Tracy persuades them to do the right thing, which is good. Now, there are boys involved in the school but nobody wanted the role you got then, obviously, or you, in your tomboy way, perfected the art of being a boy. How, how, is, this, is this something that's been inside you to do, you know, the, the alternative? <laughs> well, there was only about like three boys that auditioned and there's obviously more parts in Hairspray that are boy parts and obviously the teachers saw that I'd do a better job at it. Also I'm quite tall and they were like the proportions wouldn't be right if anyone else was Link. So I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll be Link. You got quite a big part then, you got to play a boy all this time in the show, then how do you feel about this? Um, I'm stressed out because the only other like main part which is a boy is um, Connie Collins and I'm friends with the boy who plays Connie Collins so he's like no you need to walk like a boy so I'm being I'm being taught how to do it all manly so I'm learning. <laughs> Thank you Courtney I'm now ready to consume the tide of Miss Tide of Miss Teenage Hairspray. Give me the crown, give me the flowers and everybody start bowing. Not so fast Amber, look who's coming in the front door. Right on what? How did you? The front door was wide open. Someone called all the guards from the lobby into the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the letter to the count now. 